Hello everyone, this is Alfred and uh, today we will show you how to use the X431 Pro 3 and this video is a uh, basic vehicle diagnosis hope you guys enjoy so this is the X431 main unit and this is a DBS car connector and this is the extension cable in here I will show you an example just like uh, as your diagnosis the vehicle you will face this problem with the engine white or warning light on and the ABS warning light on every car there is a connector on the bottom of the dash so this is the OBD car connector first we will connect the so this is a connector how we connect to the vehicle after you do the connection for the OB, uh, DBS car connector so in every Pro and Pro 3, there is an icon in the tablet main unit as this X431. So after you hit it, uh, you will see as your light right screen, there is an X431 Pro 3. So this is a screen uh, main main interface on the on this tablet. In here, we will choose. Uh, local diagnosis and after that you choose this car model this is a uh, Honda and press uh, OK okay connector is on working now so in here we will as you see here is a 16 pin 3 pin and SCNs so we will choose 16 pin so the diagnosis tools we figure out the win number for this Swagger just like this win number what actually was the win number is Swagger identification number as you see an I VI win number and scan tools will automatically detect this vehicle is Honda City this and press OK so in here you can uh, choose health reports system scan or whatever you need so as this case uh, the car is uh, come with two system problem so we choose health report In non scan tools, there is a health report for you to diagnosis a car. It's so good system because it's, uh, it can detect all the system and it will figure out which is the problem system and which problem, which system is okay. So in here we will see uh, engine system. There is a four trouble code and ABS. There is one travel code. So in 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 waiting for here, we can still hit the pause, uh, and temporarily we can see this problem with the engine system. The travel code is P one zero one one three. In take air temperature sensor. In here, it, the scan tools is not just show you the IAT sensor. Actually, the IAT sensor uh, is means intake air temperature sensor. So that's why in the front of uh, it say IAT sensor, but behind it will let you know what's the problem with the sensor. It's circuit high voltage. So with this, you can easy to diagnosis the vehicle and 
you can troubleshooting it very easy after this when you see this uh, icon at the beside is you can directly google search with this uh, if this diagnostic trouble code on Google so in here after you click the image you can see what's the location for this sensor so in here sensor it right is on the side of the air filter housing so we found the F the the sensor so the sensor is already loosened with the connection actually this is the example for me to do the diagnosis so it, what happened if the connection is lost so we still can read the data stream from this scan tools so we head on back and we can go through the the read data stream so in read data stream we we'll cho we choose manual select and we look again with the IAT sensor and the map sensor is meaningful air pre air flow sensor so after it we can get the data this is a live data from the scan tools reading so if you are facing this problem if uh, the 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 sensor it might be uh, when you're touching the the wire it might be a loosened reading like this so that means uh, there is a circuit failure or loosened connection on the connector so after you fix the connection just like this case is lo connector loosened if after you fix it you still read the travel code in here so after you read the travel code you can clear it like this in if there is uh, some notice for you you just follow it yeah, this one you can shift to neutral parking brake and stop engine after that you press ok so after complete the clear trouble travel code so after clear the engine uh, trouble code let's start up the car again okay now the port the the engine warning is off but there is a still a uh, ABS warning here so we check again with the ABS sensor so we check again with the ABS system so in in here we found out this uh, ABS right uh, wrote down is PCM malfunction it, the ABS system is telling us the engine is malfunction so in here we no need to do any action but we just clear the trouble code uh, in in this health report because we are in the health report so you see there is a clear DDC on the uh, right down area so this means it will clear one one click clear all the DC in in this system so the trouble code is all done and all system is still uh, is normal so in here we can start engine we can check again the warning light so now the all, all warning light is go off the car is running normally okay today our mission is already complete the all system is running normal so in if you are need to uh, scan again you can do the health report and recheck the whole system for this car if you are not exiting you still can hit the continue to continue scan for other system so after diagnosis done 
we can directly hit the exit and thank you for watching this video if you are feel this video is useful for you and please subscribe at our youtube channel